All right, your boy's hopping in solo right now just to cover things while we're a little bit busy over here. But nonetheless, we still out here for Escape from Yoshi's Island. We're still trying to get out of here. And we're getting out with Marshall and Don. So Don, you saw his performance in doubles. You saw him win doubles with Light. But now you get to see him mano a mano with one of the city's best. He's one of the best active Bowsers in the city. Uh, arguably above Cassius or second only to him. Nonetheless, he's able to play this matchup fairly well, but we'll see how both these players handle it out. Smashville for the start is a fairly neutral stage, given all things considered. Both of these characters can make really good use of it to extend their juggles or to give themselves better landings. So seeing who's able to bait out the other better is a real determining factor of this set. Taking things initially, Marshall going in for just try to pressure him out, keep control of the ledge, force the battle there. It's a lot of free damage for Bowser if he's just control of the ledge. And then once he's got that damage, he goes right for his kill confirmed. Fairly simple start for Marshall, but we'll see if Don can bring it back. Definitely within the realms of possibilities if he can get as aggressive as that, but Smashville Platform has other things to say about the matter. Marshall looking to get filthy here with these juggles, too. He knows he can just do it traditionally. He knows he can just be patient. But you always get more off of putting the damage into your opponent's head. Especially with all the uh, rage that's clocked in on him as well. That was some uh, questionable DI. Good amount of rage on Don himself. He's going to be able to bring back the stock count. But with 74% .70 and counting on Mario... One good confirm could spell disaster. So Don getting Marshall out of his traditional percentages, forcing him to calculate stuff for rage combos, it's going to help him out. Nonetheless, Don doing a really good job of making sure that this base platform is his. And this is a huge difference from what we saw in the first stocks. We're going to swing that head, catch a landing. Be a nice and simple way for Don to end out this game one, but not getting so lucky with it. He's not going to find his opportunity from the whiff forward smash. Once again, looking for it. It's going to leave him open, and now Marshall in control of the stage, trying to come in for the back air, but he's not going to be able to land that just yet. Delayed down air, too. All these boys just throwing out all the hitboxes they can. But a rude and aggressive up smash at the ledge is finally going to be able to catch Marshall. Can't run away from that one, and Don is going to go up for game one. All right, with Don taking game one now, it's a matter of just seeing where Marshall's going to counter pick him. I could either see the run back or we can go into like a, a fairly like living heavy stage. I can see Battlefield being the option. Uh, more survivability is typical for a Bowser pick, but Final Destination would make a lot of sense given how. Uh, how heavily Marshall's game plan relied on just trapping landings and juggling. Which makes sense. And if he's confident enough in knowing where, where his percentage is set, he's still going to be able to get his, uh, his kill confirms off the grab and up throw. But right out the gate, it's not looking too good as Marshall pins himself to the corner. Don puts some percentage on him. But percentage is going to be fast and fleeting early on in this game just because of the nature of these characters. They're both grab-oriented, they're both fairly combo-heavy, and where Mario's able to get in more hits per his combos, Bowser's packing a punch. It's sort of the classic trade-off of the heavy to the medium weight. I mean, overall, this is pretty much the classic battle, is it not Mario to Bowser? But uh, a bit unconventional, Marshall missing a kill confirm. Going to supplement that with a solid up smash just to get the coverage on it. Can't complain about free damage in these days. And catching off the whiff up uh, forward smash. Also taking what he can get. And a wayward up tilt and some questionable DI manages to pick it up for Marshall. He's looking swift with his approaches. He's not playing as though it's a regular big body. He's trying to make the most out of Bowser's disjoints. And he's picking up on when Don really wants to go in for the kill. And picking up on a habit like that is great because you're either forcing Don to utilize those tools, stale them out, make them less effective, or you're just baiting them into different uh, positions. But a flurry of rolls isn't going to do any good as uh, Marshall's taking a bit more damage than he would like to. Staying at max rage, going for the kill confirmed throw is going to be a bit more difficult, but that's still a lot of damage that Marshall's able to put down with even more knockback than typical.
Back throw, assert the stage control. Marshall saving his jump, coming down with a bouncer bomb, but alas, still not much. It's honestly... Yeah, that ought to do it. Where he... <laughs> Why he gotta do him like that? Is that definitely the mental factor. This is like... He's like, yeah, I'm nice. I'm in there. I didn't need that stock anyways. Now, the counter pick I see from Don is going to be really interesting. I could see us, due to the fact that we run recommended rule set, we can run back to Smashville. It's, it's possible. Um, but Town and City could be the pick. And while I think it's a good pick for Don, I feel like it's going to be really volatile. Just the idea that, like, more platforms for Don to play off of, it's going to be the Smashville pick. Okay. Marshall may have forgotten that we run recommended rule set here due to the, uh, the tournaments in New York City not running uh, DSR, which is a rule which allows you to not return to a stage you've won on previously. That being said, though, I think the stage can work just as well for Marshall as it can for Don. I hope this doesn't backfire into Marshall's favor. We'll see where things go. As Don starts out with an incredibly aggressive uh, opening. Like a bat out of hell, Don starts game three with a flurry of attacks. It's going to work amazingly in his favor as he's taking minimal percentage. And he's just gone all in on Marshall. Definitely a big change of pace. But, I mean, hey, if it can work for it, it's doing the job. It's rare that we get to see Don perform so well in singles. He's normally just known as White's wingman in doubles. But he's been holding it down really well lately. We'll see if he can take this through the rest of the tournament. As he manages to hold the ledge, he's trying to read a jump from Marshall, but he's not going to be able to do it just yet. Marshall trying to be a bit more evasive with how he takes his landings, and definitely a good call, but the Bowser Bomb is going to result in a powerful forward smash, and Don's going to take the set 2-1. I have no doubt that we'll see more of Marshall as the day goes on, but 